In today's educational system, there are serious inequities. The emergent bilingual population is growing exponentially, yet we fail to support their needs. They come to us with a wealth of knowledge, but we don't leverage that knowledge. We do not make connections to real world learning. And that is where we are failing students and we are failing ourselves and society as a whole. We're one of the only countries in the world that does this. Other countries like Finland focus on a more holistic approach to education. And in fact, they are quite successful and outrank the United States in PISA scores in math and language arts and reading. For this curricular pitch, I am proposing that we develop a program wholly focused on project-based learning. This curriculum will leverage the learning opportunities that exist in real world understanding and connection. And it will honor funds of knowledge. This is really something that we have failed to do. We take language, culture, and identity away from students when we fail to let them use the knowledge they have, make connections to the real world, and also to use different skill sets. If we are talking about emergent bilinguals, we need to allow them to trans language and code mesh in their presentations. In my proposal, I would like to look at third grade students because in my uh, situation, we have dual language up to the third grade. We are wholly focused on honoring both languages and developing biliterate students ready for the 21st century. For our students, we would like to look at math, science and social studies and develop a curriculum that works cross curricularly, addressing all of the TEKS around one single problem. How does this relate to everything? The United Nations has listed 13 sustainable goals that we must all be focused on to ensure that we as a people as a world can continue to survive when we are dealing with existential problems like climate change and overpopulation. This obviously is an area in which we are relating to social justice and to the needs of people who were disenfranchised in the past because they were not allowed to speak their own languages or they were not honored for the obvious abilities that they bring to the learning sphere. Well, I am not a proponent of standardized testing. I do think that the way that STAR is being redesigned now is a step in the right direction. They are looking to develop students who can make cross-curricular connections, who can think at a more critical level. The old STAR was at a surface level and it was focused on just one content, which really isn't very realistic and does not reflect the way we use learning, or solve problems in the real world. For this reason, project-based learning will address many different issues. It will allow students to look at real world problems and connect different curricula, working across math, science, social studies, and reading at high levels. Additionally, by honoring students' linguistic skill sets, allowing them to translanguage in that safe space and provide presentations that address real world problems using code meshing is an incredibly powerful way to increase equity and to allow all students to have equal access to have a voice in education and in our society.